Once again, I'm down the street a little further from, uh, you know, where it was, apparently. There's just walking through the crowds now. I'm in the parking lot. I'm headed towards uh, New York, New York. Just past the MGM. So, got to do what I got to do. And that's how that's going. You know, to always be careful. This shady group of shady people. You got to... Watch out for shade, motherfuckers, in Vegas. Constantly watch out for shady-ass people. You don't know who might do what, or why they might think they can do something to you. But I've noticed since I've been here the last few days, that Vegas is filled with shady characters. Of course, you know, that's part of the fucking allure and feel of Vegas. You know, a lot of people have only seen Las Vegas in TV and in movies and shit. Straight here. And, you know, you don't get a real sense of Vegas. Walk down the street, drink your bottle of alcohol. Do what the fuck you want to do here. But this is Vegas. Now, for those who love the Wayne Brady, we're over where they film the new Wayne Brady show. Let's make a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and show you Vegas some more. As we're passing the MGM, and we're passing the whatever the hell this is. We've passed Hooters already. Um, you know, it's a wonderful experience. I'm by myself right now because, you know, it's like when I do my family thing, you know, it's my family's completely detached from YouTube. So, uh, let's uh, get out the way here. <laughs> because uh, they will run your ass over in fucking Las Vegas. Says that son of a bitch cab right there? It's almost fucking hit me. So let me get back on the regular sidewalk. Now, there's a walkway coming up soon. I'm gonna hit this walkway, and boom, we'll go ahead. Let me show you the seedier part of Vegas. This is what I don't like. I'm gonna show you this because this shit is everywhere in Las Vegas. This is what they have in newspaper stands in Las Vegas. These are pretty much advertisements for brothels and other whatever but this is comp all this is advertisement for sex here are these baseball cards here you get a baseball card and you got the nude women on it and the shit's everywhere this is why I don't like bringing my kids to Vegas because of this shit right here and it's free get your magazines right there triple X everything sex this is what they sell in fucking Las Vegas. You know they say what goes down in Vegas stays in Vegas. I know it's kind of hard to see this, but when I open it up, you can see what they give away. You get shit like this for free. Asians and, you know. This is what they do. This is Las Vegas. This is not a place for kids. It's not for children. You get people bring their kids here every year. We'll sit here at the bus stop. So. Some of the worst parts of Las Vegas is that at nighttime you have people standing out on the streets handing these tablets to people. You could be walking with your children and you see these guys walk up with these business cards. They're all laminated and they're all, you know, sexual advertisements and it's all over Las Vegas. So when you have your kids with you, make sure you try to block as much as you physically can. They actually have trucks now with the rolling billboard signs, the same crap. So I said something nice, so let's go ahead and show you where Rain Brady does his, uh, you know, let's make a deal show. Let's make this spin right here and turn around. And over my shoulder is the Wayne Brady, let's make a deal sign. That is beautiful. Seeing that, uh, Comedian's got his shit together, got a little show going on. Might not be doing TV as much as he used to or whatever, but uh, he's still doing his Wayne Brady thing. So, let me go show you one more thing, then take my ass off to the walkway, and boom. I hate this. It's set for nighttime, I think, or something like that, but.
Signing off for now. The real AIX. Vegas. Well, I just did an interview. I interviewed two people and it's kind of strange that every time you go through this process of interviewing people, and I interviewed people that didn't want to be on film, so during this interview, it's kind of strange to me that when you go through the process of interviewing people that 10 minutes into the interview it turned into a race-based issue. Um, tired of that. Race-based uh, philosophies that you know we're based on is just getting extremely pitiful that that shit happens and I'm tired of it. I just, I just took a little gas out of sales. We go ahead and take a couple pictures for you and head on back to the room. I hate to try to fix this. I think there's a problem with the settings. Let me check this. I'll get back to you in a second. Out.